a University of Mississippi student who admitted helping place a noose on the statue of a civil rights activist is going to prison. Fire Chief Jeffrey Ponson tells News 25 historic agreement today is the five Gulf states affected by the BP oil spill. 51 years ago, black children walked into white schools for the very first time in Biloxi, changing history forever. Mississippi State wrapped up its football season today with a Belk Bowl in Charlotte, North Carolina. The Bulldogs, I can take that. I can take that, Steve. Thanks a lot. While most of us will be staying up late tonight to ring in the new year, many children will just not make it that long. Well, Joe Katarina, we know that no city survives for 114 years without at least a little bit of ups and downs. We know that earlier this year, of course, Mayor Billy Broomfield announced infrastructure plans. Now until June 30th, limited time only menu. You can sample some of these delicious burgers, and I'm going to go ahead and throw it back to you guys. So you were born uh, both uh, male and female. Tell us how does that differentiate from uh, being LGBTQ? Whereas, you know, um, the LGBT community, they usually make a choice to be one or the other or, mm -hmm. you know, um, being a hermaphrodite, which is what it's called. Mm -hmm. You're born with both male and female organs, you know. Mm -hmm. And usually it's, that's because in the mother, there's a, a high testosterone level. Mm -hmm. So it's not a choice that we make. We're born mm -hmm. this way. We're born with both. and. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, what I know is that in our society, if you are different from what the status quo is, it's just, it's difficult. Yes. You have a hard time in our yeah. society. Um, what has it been like for you? What has your journey been like in, to get to this point of being free enough to, and to come out and just be honest about who you are? It's been rough. I'm not going to lie. It's been very rough. And even till about a week ago, you know, I kept it under wraps unless I really felt comfortable enough to tell somebody. How difficult was it for you though? Because it I was, know that this was not just an overnight decision that you made to be able to come here and just to talk to the whole Gulf Coast about right. uh, it's, something that's so personal. It's definitely very hard even now, you know, being here, you know, mm -hmm. it's very scary. You, you know, um, there is just something that's really beautiful about someone who is brave enough to just be honest about who they are because I think in our society we do a lot of hiding um, in many different ways. We, we do that. Um, I, mean, I think we do that well. But, you know, I have to commend you for being able to come out here and be honest. And um, uh, you have a beautiful spirit. You. you have a poem that you'd like to share. And they're wrapping us right now, but if you can just go ahead and just read a little bit of that or recite a little bit of that sure. for us. Um, the looks, the whispers, they cut so deep. The tears I cry are real. A freaking outcast, a loser. These things are what I feel. It hurts more than I let you see, but now the mask comes off. The ones like me that your words killed and let the message carry on. Beautiful. Thank you, Thank you. so much for joining us tonight. Thank oh you. gosh, it's just, I'm blessed just even being able to sit here and talk to you right now. It was a night full of raw emotion and tears coming just a week after the savage attack of an Ocean Springs woman. Just hours before the new year, one person has died in a single vehicle accident. Now Maggie is considered a regular appearing in more than five photo shoots and bringing joy. To, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Bringing joy to her customers. As we leave you tonight for the last time in 2015, can you believe it? Last time. Friday, Ryan, you're trying to make some enemies out there. That dog uh, come out of that mass of, of hair. Of all of that yeah. hair, absolutely. I yeah. like him. I'd keep him. Kind of the same way it was when we found you, Ryan. Yeah, just a big little, mass of hair, and we just scruff. went ahead and just rubbed him down. Exactly, and added a bow tie and, and, a, and a suit jacket, and here I am. Taught him some weather, and here he is delivering the forecast. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> and I mean, this pumpkin is This huge. pumpkin, like this big head here? This 370. Right? I had no idea, Shelby, about that until tonight. <laughs> you can, in fact, you. rent a chicken. You're right. An Ohio man has been arrested after he posted a Facebook video of himself driving and drinking alcohol. The suspect is identified as 28 year old Dustin Ritgers. He posted a video of his behavior and one of his Facebook friends saw it and tipped off authorities. Now dispatchers were able to use motor vehicle records to identify his vehicle and a sharp eyed officer eventually found it on the road near campus. He was arrested and charged with operating a vehicle under the influence following too closely a marked lane violation and having an open container of alcohol in a motor vehicle. This is not the first time he's been arrested on drunk driving charges. Edgar Foreman, better known as Afro Man, was in court today. The Gulf Coast entered day three of sand removal from Highway 90. Now, following Monday's storm, winds, of course, blew mounds of sand onto the highway of up to 186 miles per hour. Wow. So Ashley, I know that you are our daredevil up here. Would you do that? Oh, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, but I want to see someone else you do it first that. to make sure it's safe. 
Joe. Right. Uh, Joe. I know some people who will definitely not be warm. I don't think they ever planned on it. Hundreds of people came out to Maine showing they were bold in the cold <laughs> annual polar plunge in Portland. So three rare white Bengal tiger cubs were born in Crimea. They were filmed crawling around their nursery on Saturday after being born in Crimea's Yalta Zoo. Those cubs were rejected by their mother. Oh, can you imagine that? They're being raised from bottles by staff. Now, two of the three male cubs have stripes, while the third is virtually all white. The cubs are being kept in a nursery with some recently born lion cubs. Okay, so we have some guests here uh, in the studio who are just ooing and eyeing over these cubs. Um, Ryan, what's the deal? Well, I, mean, I think that together we could adopt one and keep it here at the station. Really? I think so. You and who's gonna? Uh, who's gonna? I mean, it would be a team effort, Jennifer. We're <laughs> not the only one. <laughs> that would really? Be, yeah. Okay. And someone tells me that your idea of a team effort. I'm gonna have to ask your wife, Mandy, because I know she would attest to this. Team effort means that I do all the work and you just. I get to ride him and play with him and. <laughs> Things of that nature, yes. You've got this figured out. I can't deal she's, with she's you. She's bright. That's I just kind of take you for a guy who loves a lot of attention. So the crowds oh. would, oh, his socks match his tie. Trust me. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> hot out there, folks. Drink plenty of water this weekend. Hot all weekend. Thanks for joining us tonight.